It's an eccentric, glamorous comedy about a Nigerian wedding. And it's Nollywood's highest grossing film to date. The wedding party tells the story of a cross-cultural couple tying the knot, making fun of the country's tribal stereotypes. There's one thing to be successful, there's another thing to clean house. So we cleaned house and um, while I did, uh, uh, while I knew it was going to be very successful, not just successful, very, very successful, um, I didn't, I didn't, I, I wasn't ready for this. Two months since its release, the film is still being shown in cinemas and has generated $1.3 million. Its secret to success? Humour with a serious message. The movie is like two sides of Nigerians, like the evil, the Yorubas, the toughest part, I guess, in Nigeria. So it's like harmonising the two parts together and making us understanding why we need to be together no matter the tribe. At the beginning of the movie, I laughed all through to the end. And like this is a first that's never happened with watching an early movie. Since Nollywood took off in the 1980s, movies were often made in just a few weeks with a budget of less than $20,000. Now, despite Nigeria's economic woes, the film industry is booming, with productions becoming ever more professional. Nigerian people are a very selective audience, uh, very exposed, internationally traveled. We know what obtains everywhere and we expect nothing less on home front. So the call is to filmmakers to rise to this demand by our discerning audience and provide them with the level of professionalism that pertains and obtains around the world. Nigerian productions are gaining bigger audiences thanks to the explosion of Pan-African satellite channels and the opening of modern cinemas, giving the country's budding movie makers a reason to focus on film.